Of sin because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the rule of this world is judge. Verse 12, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. He will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. For all the things that the Father has are mine, therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. Now, in this is associated with dominion. Is he going to give you everything if you can't handle it? No. Submit to God. Resist the devil. With dominion comes blessings. See, God is always trying to get something to us. He's not trying to take anything away from us. It's amazing how many people are still mourning over deaths and stuff. Oh, the Lord took them. Hello. Man, with eight, 16 Twinkies a day, what do you expect? You know, I mean, what you sow is what you reap. You know, yes, things happen. Amen? Things do happen in life. The Bible says something very important. As a believer, the road is narrow and difficult. So you, we're not going to tiptoe through the tulips. It's going to be difficult, and it's going to be narrow, and you're going to go through the stages of purification so that you are transparent so Christ can shine through you. Whether we like it or not. But if you have a heart that's desire to please him, you'll be willing to do whatever it takes. Amen. And you will learn to submit to all things and resist the devil and dominion will be granted and God will release his promises. We are in a critical time. We are being challenged from every area. But that's okay. Get purified. Let God bring you through the stages so that you know your daddy. He says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. He'll walk right through us with it. He left his spirit with us. See, to that area and that point we come to where he who's in us is greater as he who's in the world. That no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That you are more than a conqueror. And if God be with you, who can be against you? Amen? So let's stand strong in the power of his might and not our own. And let dad be dad and let's be his children. Amen? Father, we thank you for your word. We are honored and blessed. And we thank you for the stages of purification. Now that you've granted us understanding, because we didn't understand what we were going through, now we know why. And in so, Lord, let your will be done. And let your image and likeness and character have his way in each and every one of us that Christ will be glorified in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Hallelujah. Be blessed.